Recent reports of kava being commercially grown in the U.S. have sparked concerns about the threat posed to the kava industry in the Pacific Islands. Fina Funua has more. Welcome to Cup of Kava in Clarksville, a unique destination for those seeking a relaxed cafe experience. That's the advert of a cover bar hidden away in the small city of Clarksville in America's whiskey state of Tennessee. It's one of at least six cover bars in the states. Estimates on the number of cover bars in the U.S. vary from 180 to over 1,000, and that number is growing. Less than two weeks ago, Massachusetts welcomed its first cover bar, Root Awakening. You can actually go out, have fun, get a different feeling. It's not drunk or high, we get rooted. The owner, Penny Kimmett, told CBS News he was already planning to open a second bar in the States. For the Pacific Islands, the growth of cover bars in the U.S. means more exports and more money. Fiji's Ministry of Trade reported in 2021 that cover exports had more than tripled since 2016. Last year, Vanuatu exported 351 tons of kava to the United States. Californian entrepreneur Tyler Thomas says the demand for kava is rapidly growing. We're the largest kava drinking culture. We've got over 10 million kava drinkers, 400 kava bars. Probably in the next four or five years, we'll have uh, a few thousand. Thomas is a stakeholder in Coverfied, a U.S. company that grows cover in the marsh areas of Florida. Thomas says the domestic production of cover in the U.S. is still in its pilot stage, and there's no agenda to displace the cover industry from the Pacific Islands. We have no intention of attempting to cut the islands out from cover. That is not the, uh, the goal of this exercise. The global kava market is growing, and so we're going to approach a point where if Europe opens up, we're not going to be able to keep up with demand. But word of kava being grown in the U.S. is raising concerns in the Pacific. Kava is the main source of revenue for thousands of farmers across Fiji, Vanuatu, and Tonga. Last week, Fiji's Prime Minister Sitiveni Rambuka told the Fiji Times that there are no market protections and that Pacific Island kava producers needed to lift their game. Fijian kava exporter Praveen Narayan says there's concern. I think whatever they are planting is on a pilot, pilot stage. Um, I could say maybe after five or ten years if it is really, really successful. But what the Honorable Prime Minister has stated, I think he rightly stated that the exporters, even the farmers, everybody need to up their game. Cover researcher Apo Aporosa of Waikato University says there's an urgent need for Pacific Island governments to support their cover farmers going to affect exports and it's also going to affect GDP. There is a no win for Pacific people out of this. Our leaders have to speak up. Aporosa has accused kava entrepreneurs in the US of cultural exploitation. These people, these Americans are going into the Pacific. They are using their very flash language. Um, This is what we would expect from the culture industry, okay? It's just diversionary spin aimed at hiding biopiracy. In 2020, kava accounted for 49% of Vanuatu's exports and 28% of exports from Donga.